Which T-Mobile gateway do you have? Because it makes a difference. What is up, everybody? Jack in the Xbox here. That's right. Jack in the Xbox coming at you with another T-Mobile home internet video. And today I want to talk about how to turn the Wi-Fi off on your Arcadian and Sagecom gateways. That's right. My last video focused only on the Nokia silver trash can. Ooh, it's lovely. And and here's the thing. A lot of people have been coming back at me with questions on how to turn the Wi-Fi off on their uh, gateways. And those of you that are new to T-Mobile Home Internet, my last video is probably not going to work for you because they're not really sending any more of those Nokia gateways out. The silver trash can became obsolete really fast. I still use it. I love it. But it's because I've been able to hook a router up to it that it works so well. But those of you that are trying to integrate uh, mesh systems or you're trying to put your router on there so that you have additional settings, there's actually a different way to turn the Wi-Fi broadcasting off on the Sagecom and the Arcadian. And I actually can't take credit for any of the stuff that I'm about to show you right now. Matter of fact, I've gotten all my information from Nader Tater great YouTube channel that gives you a lot of information on a lot of different stuff and he's really great with uh, T-Mobile Home Internet as well as Verizon uh, Internet if if you've used that at all. I'm actually going to be doing some videos very shortly on uh, comparing the Verizon and T-Mobile Home Internets. I had the opportunity to do some stuff with Verizon but let's not get into that right now. What you're here for is to see how to turn the Wi-Fi off on your Arcadian or on your Sagecom gateways so let's just jump into that real quick and let me show you how it's done and then if you want to see how to hook a router up to those after you've turned the wi-fi off um, i will put a link at the end of this to my other video and just skip forward a little bit and it'll show you how to after you know after i've turned the wi-fi off on that silver trash can how to actually hook a router up to it to make it work uh, and have all the settings on it that work best for you so let's go ahead and jump into it all right, first things first for this one, you wanna make sure that you're hardwired into your gateway from your desktop or laptop. Next, go ahead and open a browser and provided the description below is a link. You're gonna to wanna to copy and paste that into your browser. And that's gonna take us to pastebin.com. Specifically, that's gonna take us to this from Nader Tater. Like I said at the very beginning of this, I give Nader Tater full credit. Go show his channel some love and subscribe, please. Now, you're gonna to wanna to right click on download and click save link as. Once we click save link as, you can see that we're gonna download a text document. That is the setting script for the Arcadian specifically. And down here you can see that we've downloaded that. So right click on that again and show in folder. Now I'm gonna drag and drop this sucker over here real quick. And you can see now we have this text document. Go ahead and double click on that to open the file. Once we have opened this file, and just uh, show you real quick here, this is a PowerShell script that is gonna get us in position to do all the settings that we want to do. Now I tested this out actually on uh, my Nokia as well, and it seemed to work. There's a couple of settings that were slightly different though. Now we're gonna go ahead and save as on this. And once we click save as, what we wanna do is change the file type by clicking uh, here and doing all files. And we're gonna add a little thing at the end here. We wanna click dot or period, whatever you wanna say. And we're gonna put in PS1. And once we've typed that in, we can go ahead and click save. And what we're gonna do, let's close this down real quick and I'll show you. We now have two files. They look exactly the same, except one is a PowerShell, Windows PowerShell script, and the other one is just a text document. So we're gonna right click on the PowerShell one and run with PowerShell. And you can see now we have some settings, some opportunities to change things within uh, our gateway. Uh, if we press one, you can see that'll turn off our Wi-Fi. If we press two, it'll turn on the Wi-Fi. We can reboot our gateway, download the configuration settings changes, as well as quit out. So for this, let's go ahead and turn off the Wi-Fi. So we're gonna press one, and it's gonna ask us to put in our password for the gateway. I've hidden mine for secrecy. Now, once we've typed in that password, what it's gonna do is it's gonna run a quick shut off of the Wi-Fi. You'll see that happen right down here. So it's turned off the Wi-Fi now on our gateway. Once we've done this, the next thing we want to do, instead of just 
quitting out immediately is we want to type 4 to download the configuration to verify that our changes have actually taken place. Again, we need to go in here and we need to type in our password just one more time. I've hidden it again, as you can see. <laughs> and now once we've done that, we can go in and let's just go ahead and close this. Oh, sorry got ahead of myself. Let's quit out of this. So go ahead and type Q. You won't need to type in your password after you've done this. And that'll take us back to our page here. Now you can see we've actually downloaded the configuration set. Now in our configuration settings, we can see that the radio enablement is off on our 2.4 gigahertz. And it is also off right here on our five gigahertz. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. Uh, I will tell you this. I tried this out on my Nokia gateway and it did work. It was very involved, uh, but it, it ended up working. It's still easier to toggle those switches on and off on the Nokia gateway. It's set up for the Arcadian. Go ahead and try it out on the Sagecom. Uh, it should work for that one as well because their interfaces are very similar. Uh, and the last thing I would tell you, if you haven't already, please hit that like button. It helps me out a ton, gets this out in front of other people, as well as subscribe. Uh, join the Jack and the Xbox community. If you're a gamer, great. I've got gaming stuff. Uh, we're going through a little bit of a rebrand right now where we're going to do some media as well, but would love to have you. So please hit that subscribe button and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.